Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richie Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back. A little late night video for the uh, hurricane. Hopefully, you guys are staying safe out there. I've been hearing a bunch of crazy stories about that, so please stay safe out there, everybody. But we got a brand new Wizard 101 video uh, for you guys, and we, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We got free code console news and wasn't 101 europe news wasn't 101 us and pirate 101 it's just all over the place it was a really good uh, ki live i only wish that they updated like the free code that was like the second free code a little bit earlier which we're actually going to talk about so this is what happened i say this all the time about the ki live free codes that they are very live stream based, so as soon as they live stream, um, they usually put them up in the bottom ticker, you know, a little ticker chart, whatever thing, um, and then, you know, one of them is usually a one day mount. Most of the KI lives, 90% of the time, or I should say 99% of the time, uh, the first code will always just be a one day mount, and typically I don't really share those codes a lot just because it's kind of like a spam code in a sense, in my opinion. I just don't really redeem them myself just because they kind of clog up your gift box and yeah, now, if you really want to farm for temporary mounts, you can just farm the Kraken in Triton Avenue. I really don't think you really need to redeem um, a one-day mount. And the only reason I uploaded the video early is because I was really waiting on them to, you know, upload the second code, which they had on the little left ticker that said uh, TBD, which to be determined or whatever. And I really didn't like that, and yikes man it took like them like i'll probably have to say like probably near the end or halfway of the actual ki live for them to finally reveal this super um interesting code which did include an exclusive pet if you were fortunate to get it which luckily i was fortunate to get it and during this time i don't sit at my desk like 24 7 i was with the kids and my mom and we were literally in the grocery store getting the kids some mcdonald's french fries and getting us some applebee's wings so during this time i'm like on my phone like editing the description and trying to listen out of when they actually reveal that second code because i don't sit at my desk 24 7 right but anyway if you were lucky to type in the free code super grizzly 924 which of course is obviously expired you would have gotten some pretty cool items which included a ki little rocker pet um which is pretty interesting i didn't even know that they even still gave away pets but i think it would be around here yeah pet rocker and this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's, it's got headphones on it. I, I love it, dude. We're going to be Millie rocking with this pet. And it has a little Google eyes. I love it. So hopefully, if you were fortunate enough, I apologize personally just because, you know, I don't even know how I would even share that code within the time because by the time they did reveal this code, the code was already kind of like expired because, again, once the live stream is over, then the codes pretty much expire. So, you know, hopefully some people got lucky. Um, during the video, not, yeah, during, like, the description, I was trying to retitle it because in the Twitch chat, I actually copied and pasted the code that someone texted. And they actually put the code in backwards, right? So I had to refix that because it was 924 and not, like, 429. I don't know how that got messed up. But that will be the last time I'll be copying anything from the uh, Twitch chat. Y'all got to be do better than that. But, yeah, hopefully you guys had a chance to redeem it. It was a very quick code. It, it went by fast. So, you know, sad. I know. Hopefully for the next KI Live, they just release like they always do and just put both the codes at the same time instead of like this whole hype like okay guys we're about to reveal the last code like okay no like just just give me the second code i don't yeah no i don't got time for the rest of the stuff but 
overall it was a genuinely good ki live um it was nice to see everybody some new faces here and there pretty pretty cool stuff but just release both the codes man that stress i don't need any more stress for this game here's like a regular code that i would say is a pretty good code we got the sweet 16 code this is for the wizard 101 birthday and you have all the way through september 30th to redeem it and that's cool you have plenty of time to redeem the code before it expires but when it comes to like ki live free codes those free codes expire super fast so maybe i'll probably hold back on doing those ki live free codes because at that point you know you can just visit their live stream yourself and kind of just figure out what the code is and just type it in but I'll continue doing it. We'll see what happens. I just hope that next time they just post the second code. But enough talking about that. Let's talk about some console news. And this is pretty cool because during the KI Live, they did a full section talking about the uh, console stuff. And I know you guys are super duper excited about consoles news. And of course, you know, putting the game on console, it, it requires a lot of work. It is actually harder than I think a lot of us expect it to be. So here it is. The main thing is that it's coming on Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch, right? That is the main thing, and those are the main consoles, right? Okay, now here we go. It's not going to have any PC crossplay, meaning that anybody on the console, such as Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo, um, they can't play with PC players, right? Um, and the reason for that is because um, it was a client server mismatch. They also have different update times, um, especially with consoles, because, you know, trying to get updates into consoles, it might take days or weeks or months, they said. Um, you know, lots of rules and considerations to you know, obviously consider with all the consoles in terms of service and blah, blah, blah. All the, you know, big boy adult <laughs> stuff. All the, like, business stuff you would know. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the reason why they don't have that available for, like, PC and consoles together. Um, just because they just wanted the PC uh, console ports or... Not PC console port, but just PC in general just to have their own timed updates, you know? Because console players will probably get their updates a little bit later than us, you know, people that play on PC. So, yep, you know. And for other console news, uh, everyone starts fresh. So, you know, they also kind of double down on that a little bit, you know. Um, it would be cool to see them. They mentioned how, you know, it would be cool to see all, like, the changes and all the, like, not-so-bad stuff that's been happening or that has happened over the 16 years, you know, but yeah, everybody pretty much starts fresh, you know, they're working with a partner studio, which is also interesting, and the release dates are a little bit flexible since they are working with this partner studio, they're working with the consoles to see what the best time to launch would be. You know, they also mentioned that if they were to release during the holiday console, you know, the holidays, such as like Christmas, um, you know, consoles would be too busy promoting stuff like Call of Duty, Mario, etc. No, I'm serious. They actually did mention Call of Duty and uh, Mario, which is pretty funny. They also did mention Fortnite, how Fortnite is fortunate to have the resources. And uh, sadly, they are not fortunate that they have those types of resources. And, you know they are not as epic you know they're not like epic games right um but yeah it was pretty interesting like noticing that so they kind of hinted obviously they said that you know don't confirm that there's any release date but it kind of had a hunch that we're probably not gonna get like the console launch at all this year most likely it may be like next year somewhere you know around that time frame 2025 is basically um i think a good point where everybody could be sure on just not this year just because of course you got call of duty and some other stuff is coming out um you know 2024 has been a great year for video games in general so um you know we'll see what happens they basically just want the consoles to kind of promote them more and usually typically earlier in the years you know earlier months in the year has a more open window i actually put that here the first few months of the year are less crowded don't take that as an exact confirmation so you know 2025 potential release window 
is what you guys can do. And honestly, I think 2025 is pretty good. You know, they already said that, you know, it is coming soon. So I think 2025 is fine. It also gives them a great time to work out all the bugs and glitches and everything else. Because let me say, guys, it has been a very rough year. Not just for Wizard 101, but also Pirate 101, Wizard 101 Europe, etc., etc. It's just... Lately, updates, it just feels really rough. The updates just feel like they're not there. Like, it feels like, I mean, Portal Apparel. If you guys don't know what the Portal Apparel is, we've mentioned it every single day at this point. Um, yeah, it just feels like the updates just truly aren't there as a functioning, working thing. So, you know, they can take as much time as they want on consoles. I'm super happy about that. And I'm happy that there will be some more people playing Wizard 101. But that is basically all the information that they uh, shared on the KI Live. I will leave the entire KI Live linked in the uh, comment section below. Um, and you can check the whole thing out yourself. See if you find some more details and stuff like that. See if I mistake something. But yeah, that's pretty much what they said. They didn't give an exact release date. They just kind of kind of hinted, you know. Kind of just sort of hinted at it. But yeah, 2025 is what we can probably shoot for. Alright, so let's talk about Wizard 101 Europe. Pretty much not much nothing new for Wizard 101 Europe. It's pretty much the same thing. Just tidying up some loose ends, you know, especially with the uh, name translations and stuff like that with the recent update. Uh, they're starting to plan the next update for EU, which is pretty nice. Uh, the next major update or two will have EU players less than the update um, behind than NA, which is really nice because they are practically caught up. Like, if you're playing on Wizard 101 Europe, you're practically almost caught up um, with Wizard 101 NA in terms of update because remember, you already have the Wallaroo update and you already have the Nightmare Dungeon and the name and gender change and a few other stuff, so you're pretty much right there. Um, they also mentioned that most likely on consoles release type of schedule, so 2025 expect some more potential more updates for Wizard 101 Europe so pretty cool stuff and for Wizard 101 US we are getting this side content this year of course you know this is usually the time where they kind of you know give us a side dungeon or whatever and then you know put more resources onto the next arc which is like um, arc 5 or something like that I honestly don't know which arc we're on I just know that the recent arc I just did not have fun with. Um, the Nightmare Dungeon, the, the fiasco with the community is just... Yeah, I didn't like Arc 4. I, I really didn't. I mean, Caramel was fun. I really liked Caramel. Um, but, dude, I, I... I don't know, man. It's I, I don't know. I wouldn't say that this is like one of my favorite contents out there, but... We'll see what happens, but I am super excited for this new content that we are getting, but I'm also just kind of, like, keeping my hopes, you know, a little bit down, or, you know, just keeping enthusiasm at it all, all time down, you know, just because I hyped up the Nightmare Dungeon, and of course I didn't like the Nightmare Dungeon, so, you know, I'm just kind of keeping my expectations low, just gonna go in blind, We'll see what happens. I just really just do not like challenge mode. I don't like the mazes. I don't like the broken dreams. I don't like the 50 badge requirements. I just think that's insane. I think any badge requirement to craft the gear is overall insane. I don't think that was even like a requirement back in Dragoon farming. You just needed like a ton of reagents, but... I really don't want badge locked gear again, which it might be. It might be badge locked gear for crafting again, as per usual. Um, but I just really, really just was not the biggest fan of the Nightmare Dungeon. And so were a lot of people. A lot of people just did not have fun with that dungeon. Um, so we'll just see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I just, I'm keeping my expectations low and so should everybody else. Don't be getting too gassed up. We do this every year, y'all. Just calm down, okay? Um, and this was really weird. They said this weird comment towards the end of this. Uh, they said that Test Realm will be a fusion of old and new. And that one, that one kind of like, huh, what does that actually mean, you know? Like, 
is that saying that we're going to be seeing some old mechanics return or maybe some newer mechanics also return as well because it's really intriguing we saw the moon type of chameleon that had the moon belt so we have kind of have an emphasis that we might see some moon magic in play or some astral spells so yeah i don't know i'm really curious about that comment but um again we will wait and see what happens expectations are low i'm just keeping calm about it for pirate 101 um i kind of skimmed through this live stream or at least this part of the live stream but you know main thing with pirate 101 is that you got that recent update which is featured of uh crocotopia which is pretty fun so hopefully everybody likes that a few people i think well i think a lot of people didn't really like the update just because you know again like i already mentioned you know the updates just aren't really there yet in terms of bugs glitches etc etc soft blocks or you know just quest errors or whatever's going on with that you know like i said just updates are a little rough this year practically lately it just feels like nothing is really functional <laughs> but um hopefully everybody does um enjoy the update i know a few people had questions about the story of the, the uh content itself i'm not a pirate 101 player i've just been hearing stuff so i uh, take that with what you will and uh, carry on with that information um we'll see what happens and hopefully a few patches here or two will fix everything right up they also showed the ravenwood academy game which i'm too lazy to edit in the video um but again that will be in the ki live stream that you can watch yourself and it looks like a pretty cool game i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty cute um they did mention that of course it's not gonna be free um of course it's gonna be a single purchase game you know just like any video game um, so yeah, you buy it, you play it, and yeah, it should be fun. They said, uh, there's not really much replayability of it. I'm not sure what they said about that, but I'm sure you can replay it a bunch of times over and over again. It looks like a really cute game, and honestly, the graphics look pretty amazing. I don't know what type of engine it's running on, but it looks really amazing. So if you're interested in checking out some gameplay for that, make sure to uh, check it out. You know, I'm kind of on the fence about it just because, you know, I've already spent $10 on this propeller cat and this propeller cat has not been good with me. I'm, I'm trying to hatch with it and let me just say, getting the certain pet, pet, pet talents, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. You know, pet training in this game has never been easy, but we'll see. We'll see, propeller cat. I don't know, man really kind of kind of pushing it man maybe i'll hatch it with the new rocker pet and just like see what other talents i can get because that's another pet that i also have to level up as well i've been collecting a lot of pets lately man it's been getting kind of chaotic but yeah the ravenwood academy game looks really cute and i think everybody will like it so you know we'll see what happens there and now ladies and gentlemen finally but not least we have a brand new teaser. That is right. We have a brand new fresh teaser. And this one is pretty big because this is official concept of it. So, yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. You know, finally something a little bit positive for once. But, yeah, let's check it out. Here we go. It says that we will take care of this place, Wizard. And it absolutely looks gorgeous. Can I just say that this artwork is insane? Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start, but like, this is gorgeous. And I want to take a picture like over here in the middle. You see kind of like a moon symbol, you know? Kind of like a moon symbol in the beginning. And I think that's, I guess, where a boss or wizard would be located at. I'll see these, like, I see these in the, like, images, like, I'll see these in the artwork, but, like, who would that be? Is that where, like, the wizard would be at, or, like, a certain boss? It all looks cool, and, of course, um, you can find this on the Wizard 101 official Twitter account, and you can check it out yourself. There's also, uh, brazers around that area, so maybe we use the brazers to summon something, I don't know. Or maybe it's just for decorative purposes because it, it just looks really good. So I'm super excited to check that out. The next image is really exciting. And this is absolutely insane. 
like whatever this is i'm not sure if this is like the dungeon but whatever this is this is pretty impressive we can actually see a dual circle all the way up at the top hand corner if you if we just zoom in real quick i'm sure you guys can see that uh, just zoom in even more yeah can you guys see that that's one of the dual circles so i would imagine that's that's probably where like we would fight a boss or somebody i don't know but it looks pretty exciting and it looks like we're kind of going up this type of like staircase pyramid like we're gonna be basically marching upwards which is pretty interesting as long as there's no broken dreams and as long as it's not a maze i'm again like i said i'm done with the mazes and if you look on the left or right hand side it looks like the left side kind of connects to where we're supposed to go right here. Let me look back, actually. Yeah, I think these two connect. So I'm wondering if this is where we start. Or I'm wondering if this is like the starting place right here. And then over here, this is where the main area would be at. Or this is where the main dungeon would be at. I don't know. I don't really know how to interpret this, but I'll let you guys interpret it as much as you can. Because you guys are smarter than me. You guys are way smarter than me. I've seen your comments. You guys are way smarter than me. Uh, we have a moon symbol up here. Kind of more reiteration that there will be some moon magic, hopefully. We see some croc statues as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of moon emphasis. So, we gotta get some moon magic up in here. I'm super excited about that, man. I don't think we used moon magic in a while. I'm hoping we can get some polymorphs. Maybe some, like, high-level polymorphs. That would be pretty cool to see. Um, but this is pretty cool, guys. I mean, interpret it as much as you want because it looks amazing. And I can't wait to go into it. But like I said, artwork can be gorgeous. But gameplay-wise, I'm keeping my ex I'm keeping expectations down. I can't even talk today expectations are down okay i'm just gonna wait and see how i feel about it most likely i probably won't even like it but hey i'm still gonna try it out for y'all i'm gonna give y'all my opinions don't yell at me we'll see what happens I, I just really hope there's no badge requirement to craft the gear or there's not anything too tedious about it i kind of really want like a dungeon that every single person can do not to say that the nightmare dungeon isn't possible to do in team ups but i just want something just a little bit more like less chaotic you know we'll see what happens take that with what you will and yeah i will see you guys later fun day guys and uh yeah i will see you guys later i'm probably gonna go to sleep now because it's been a long day man like i said i've been going all over the place but yeah i will see you guys later until then peace out